Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, day two of Precious Metal Fair, the Edelmetall Messe here in Munich. And with me now is Sitka Goldcorp for the first time. And it's uh, Cor Co, the CEO of the company, wants to give us an insight into that. Cor, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. Oh, thank um, you. Sitka Gold, what is the company about? Where are you based? What are you doing? Uh, Sitka Gold is a junior mining exploration company. We're based out of Vancouver, Canada. Uh, we're in exploration for gold, obviously. And uh, we've been around for about two years. We uh, went public in January of 2018. Mm -hmm. um, we're basically taking the last year and a half to assemble three good gold assets, mm -hmm. one in and Arizona. Are, where are they are located? Um, one in Arizona, one in Nevada, and one in the Yukon. Oh, okay. And the criteria for those gold assets was that it's got to be in mining friendly jurisdictions. It has to be in areas that, that logistically you can explore or develop. In other words, have roads and power. And thirdly, it has to be in an area that there's been mega ounce gold deposits found, like million ounce gold deposits plus. So those three criteria took us about a year to search out these projects. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are the next steps then? Uh, you have already started to drill on some of the projects. What have you done in 2019 then? Okay, 2019, we, we just acquired our last property in August mm -hmm. and uh, we just closed a financing last week of 1.1 million Canadian. Okay. And we have a drill going to our Arizona property in about two weeks' time, around mm -hmm. November 22nd, 23rd. So how many meters do you want to do? Um, we're going to do about 1,000 meters to start and then follow up with about 1,000 meters in Nevada. And then following that, going back to Arizona to uh, follow up on some of our results. Arizona is our flagship property. It's uh, already got a resource. It's a historical resource, about mm -hmm. 5 million ounces of silver and 120,000 ounces of gold. Good. It was, it was uh, destined to go into production in 1988. Uh -huh. I was the project manager that time. So, so I, you know it quite I well. I know it very well. <laughs> and uh, we just about were ready to mine when the price of gold dropped and it got shelved for all these years. Uh -huh, super. So, so uh, the longer term plan would be like to reopen the mine? As you know it, it so well? It, exactly. It never did get mined. Um, the deposit is still there. We want to upgrade that deposit and make it current. And we want to expand on that deposit through some uh, geochem that was done. We think that this project, this prop property and this deposit can be many times bigger than what was drilled in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I mean, Arizona is a good uh, mining friendly jurisdiction, of course. Oh, I've absolutely. I've been there uh, one time to yes. visit some mines and uh, yeah, that's great there. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. we're looking forward to that. Yeah, fantastic, cool. Um, so you said you raised one and a half million. Did I get that one, right? 1.1 million. 1.1 million, okay. Yeah. Um, what is all, all in cash in the bank? Yeah, at, it's at 1.1. Yeah, no, no. We got about right, right around a million dollars. I haven't mm -hmm. seen the, the the end result here because we just closed a few days ago. Yeah, but right around a million dollars, I would say it's sufficient for us to do the drilling that we want in mm -hmm. in both Nevada and Arizona. Okay, super. Um, um, let's say plans for 2020. I mean, with the million, okay, you can start that stuff now. Probably you have to raise another oh, uh, bunch of money then to to go a bit more aggressive for the drilling then? Well, I think that uh, beginning of 2020, we're going to be getting our results from this resource in. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're expecting that that's going to have a reflection on our stock price, share price. And we have outstanding warrants that could finance uh, another million to million and a half dollars. So we may not have to finance as far as uh, uh, going and doing a private placement. Yeah. Well, that's so. perfect, actually. Super, okay. Um, let's say going forward, I understand Arizona is like the key project, I that's would call right. it, yeah? Um, what are the plans in the Yukon then? Because the Yukon these days is really hot through companies like White Gold, for yeah, example, yeah? Yeah, And uh, what, what, what are your plans for the well, Yukon? Well, in the Yukon, uh, we're really excited. We just acquired this project a couple months ago, and it's got drill targets already defined from two years of work, and it's some work that we did this summer. Uh, or this late late summer, early fall. Um, this project is located uh, midway between uh, Victoria Gold's producing mine and Golden Predator's mine that's that's Super. scheduled to go into production. It's uh -huh. right in the heart of the Tombstone Gold Belt and uh -huh. it's in intrusion-related gold deposit country. So again, mega ounce gold deposits around us and the perfect target for, for discovering one of those type of deposits. Okay, super. So if uh, th good things will happen, maybe Victoria will grab it. 
<laughs> well, we should talk to John. <laughs> Victoria is actually our neighbor and we do talk. Fantastic, uh, um, fantastic. The, the project that we haven't talked about that I mentioned was in Nevada and it's in the Carlin district and we're really excited about this and part of this funding will go to, to drill that. And this uh, target is, uh, is based on uh, uh, some science to do with structural geology mm -hmm. and interpretation of the lower plate there that, that hosts these Carlin type deposits. Um, we we're already permitted to drill there. We don't have to wait for our permits. And uh, it's the type, we, we call it the moonshot, because if we drill this and it is there, um, these are mega, mega ounce deposits and uh, the company would be going to the moon. Wow, <laughs> so, fantastic. There you go. <laughs> Super, that was a great final sentence. Thank you very much. So I would say you have a lot of, uh, I hate to say, but blue sky potential that <laughs> really looks like to me. And uh, I mean, yeah get the drills turning and really show the results and I'm quite sure you will get a revaluation here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cor. Great. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Cor Code, uh, CEO of Sitka Gold and you heard it, three projects, Arizona, Nevada and also in the Yukon and you know, we like the Yukon a lot, of course. Victoria Gold as a neighbor, but uh, Arizona is like the flagship project for them and uh, the money just, uh, the, the company just financed oh, around a million is in the bank with uh, Warren sitting there with for one and another one and a half million so the company can really start with their programs now here and I think it's uh, worth to have a look at that and thanks for watching us bye bye from Munich <laughs>